Let me pivot to the thing that kind of came out of the blue yesterday. Yeah. Joe Judge, a guy that you know from your time in New England, right. the head coach first year of the New York Giants. He made Jason Garrett, the former Cowboys coach, the offensive coordinator. Garrett brought Mark Colombo to coach the offensive line. And as I think it finally was told by multiple reports that have been synthesized and harmonized and cut and paste and snarky commented, Dave DeGuglielmo was going to be brought in to consult with the offensive line. Right. Mark Colombo did not react well to that. Yada, yada, yada. Mark Colombo got fired. Now, we don't know what the yada entailed. Was it loud voices? Was it a little pushy shovey? Was it a little punchy facey? I don't know, right? The Giants denied that there was a fist fight between Joe Judge and Mark Colombo, well, there can be a fight that's not a fist fight. And rarely, if ever, does an actual fight between between two grown men look like Rocky. It doesn't happen that way. It's an ugly mess of flailing that ultimately results in someone trying to knock the other guy down, typically, right? Unless you're dealing with trained fighters, it's an ugly mess. So... Who knows what ultimately happened, Chris, but it was enough to get Mark Colombo summarily and immediately fired. Yeah, no. I I mean, uh, the first thing is I've I've been told there was no fight, all right? I mean, as you can imagine, I know some people in the Giants organization, all right? So that's what I was told from the get-go. There was no fight. Was there some intense argument and some pissed-offness? Okay, sorry, London, for pissed-offness. But was there some of that and some swearing and some intense... You know, moments in a conversation, definitely. That is everything I've been told by multiple people there. So uh, I I would have a hard time thinking a a fight broke out. Also, I mean, Joe Judge, he's going to have to show his face here at some point in the next few days. I I mean – Sunglasses. Sunglasses, maybe. A guy like, you know, Mark Colombo has been in the NFL. You know, There's not going to be a lot of swings and misses if it came down to a punching fight that way. Also, the other thing people got to remember here, too. You know, if you're an offensive line coach and you want to have a future in the NFL, you're not going to have a great future if you're famous for punching out your bosses, all right, and getting in fights with them. So that is, like, totally a no-no. As we know, it's a very military-like, you know, uh, what do I want to say, chain commandment, whatever, in the NFL circle. Chain of command. Chain of command. Chain command. Exactly. Simsism, page 237. (laughs) Chain commandment. uh, I can understand why he got pissed and he's mad because, of course, he doesn't want anybody there looking over him. The offensive line with the New York Giants and what Mark Colombo has done has been a lot better lately. I mean, we sit there. You see Wayne Gallman and doing what he's doing. But Joe Judge has a prior relationship with, with DeGuglielmo. So he's worked with him in New England, and he's a really good offensive line coach. And obviously he wanted something done the way he wanted it done, and Colombo didn't like that, and that was that. But – uh, again, uh, multiple people, not a fight, intense yelling, pissed off this. Yes. Not a fight question. Yeah. And I don't want to slip into the old lawyer cross-examination mode, but is it true that from time to time coaches get upset when they're on the job? Definitely. Isn't it true? Isn't it true that that happens? Yes. And isn't it true that at times the voices get raised and, and guys get in each other's faces. Isn't it true that that happens? That does. It doesn't happen a lot, right. but it does happen, no doubt. And isn't it true that even sometimes there's just that little bit of 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 jostling, not 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 a fight, but just a little jostling. I, I've isn't seen some. I've seen right. some. You know, in your face, I'm hitting you with your chest. Yep. I want to punch you, but I'm not going to do it. Yes, I've seen all of that. Yes, it's not abnormal, right? It's all right. It's no. not abnormal. It's not abnormal. That. No. Okay. Well, whatever. Mark Colombo did yesterday cross those lines. Yeah. If there's a certain amount of it that's normal, whatever he did went far enough beyond it to justify him being fired. Not tomorrow, not today, not next week. Right. Not suspended with pay while HR looks into it. Yeah. Fired, out the door, gone today. So, so that tells me the guy did something that was beyond the pale, that was across the line. Well... So I think it's more than the garden variety. Hey, oh no, yeah, f you, no f you, no. Hey, you know, puffing your chest out and bumping each other. It's something more than that. I, I, I'm not trying to say that it was some cordial conversation. I and I will. I'm not. I'm. I 
you're right. If I sounded that way, no, I think it was a, a more of an argument and a yelling and a shouting match than normal, definitely. And a lot of four-letter words were thrown out and everything like that. Now, listen, that's a little bit going to be a little bit of the environment there. I mean, Joe Judge is from Philly, and he's an in-your-face guy, and he ain't going to back down from anybody. And I don't know Mark Colombo, but I know just the way he looks and from people I've heard too, he ain't going to back down from anybody either. So I'm sure when he got bad news – that he was going to have somebody there and he feels like, man, you're going to have them looking over my shoulder and doing all that type of crap. He got pissed off and it probably became a, you know, F you F this. And they went at each other and he said, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a part of this, this crap. Probably. That's where I'm guessing where it went. I don't going to be a part of it. And he probably quit fired, whatever. He just said, it's not going to happen. And I think that's where it goes. See that, that that's the thing, right? If he quit, then he quit right now. If if he got fired, then he gets he gets he gets paid. He gets paid. So I know, yes. Yeah, you don't you don't you don't, you don't want to you don't want to quit. Right. You don't want to quit. Or if the guy is going to quit, this is another Michael Scott lesson. If the guy is going to quit, don't fire him. Like Tony when they did the merger of Stanford and Scranton, let him quit. Then you don't owe him anything. Don't fire him, Michael Scott. So who knows? But it's not the Garden Variety normal no it's not thing that happens from time to time especially with a losing team although the they're giants, that's what's they, funny the giants aren't losing that's, right that's now. where i was just gonna say i mean if you really look at things right now that's where it's shocking you go man the giants are on the right track right now i mean joe judge is doing great things and i you know the offensive line like i said it's been a lot better lately Jason Garrett's got the offense going. I mean, the defense has shut out some really good offenses. I mean, there's a lot that I'm, as a Giant fan, I'm pumped about right now. You know, I was shocked to hear that development. I will say, though, I'm not shocked that they want to bring in Dave DeGuglielmo. He's a really damn good offensive line coach, a really good one. And uh, there's history there. So, you know, obviously there was something with the way Colombo was coaching or something there that Joe Judge just obviously didn't agree with. And, and uh, that's where it went off the rails. And uh, yeah, and and look, may, maybe Colombo sensed that it was just a first step toward him being exactly let go I, anyway. Yes. that this is just the phase in. Right, you don't bring in a veteran, established offensive line coach as a consultant with just this general. He's just going to consult for the rest of the year. He's either going to take over during the season or as soon as the season ends. Mark Colombo, see you later. You don't need two offensive line coaches. No. And these, and, and, uh, these are so. two guys, Mike, that too, you know, again, I don't know Colombo, but just from what I know, I know DeGuglielmo a little bit. Like, they're not, they, these are two, you know, these are two commanders. It'd be, I don't think it would be that great necessarily with two commanders in the room anyways. They'd probably butt heads eventually. That's where I just, you know, I bet you Mark Colombo knew that a little too. And, of course, he doesn't want anybody looking over him in that way, and you're right. And who knows what he says? Who knows what he says? You know, I doubt he quit, you know, to, to your point. Maybe he just goes, well, you know, I'm going to be not given 100% or something like that to where it kind of forces you to fire him instead of him not having to quit. Whatever it was, it yeah. doesn't happen very often, which is why it was such a big story yesterday. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.